And the last 10, 15 years, we have seen a different approach, which is, you know, uh, more, we call it customer driven uh, innovation or open innovation, uh, where companies uh, begin to collaborate more with customers uh, to define their needs and uh, create products that actually uh, deliver um, tangible value to customers. Um, and then open innovation meant that instead of relying just on uh, in-house resources like R&D and marketing, uh, companies uh, begin to partner with startups and uh, outside uh, organizations to co-create solutions with them. So this idea of custom-driven innovation and open innovation is what begin to change the 20th century model of innovation into a new paradigm of innovation. But now, as I said, with the climate change and the needs of values conscious uh, consumers and employees, uh, now what we are seeing is that it's not enough. Um, so the, 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 the new products and services have to be developed in a sustainable way. Um, you have to make sure that the people that, let's say, in the apparel sector, uh, the contract manufacturers in China and India are paid, you know, uh, the right wages. Um, and all this because, you know, essentially customers, employees are becoming more socially conscious and environmentally uh, aware. So they want to make sure that, you know, they vote with the wallet for products that are, mm -hmm. um, you know, socially uh, impactful and uh, ecologically uh, virtuous. And this is creating a lot of pressure on companies, especially in the West, to embrace new ways of innovating um, that actually deliver not only uh, better uh, value for customers, but also have a positive impact on society and the planet.